Hey everybody, Aaron here, and welcome back to The Anime Talk, a show where I talk about random stuff about anime, and just, well, talk about it. I mean, that's kind of why the title is Anime Talk. I mean, I'm not doing a cooking show, so I can't do that. And I'm not talking about video games, so I'll talk about Anyways, so, I got a funny story for you guys real fast, actually. So, when I was doing this recording for this, right, this was my, I, I, had, to, I had to do this three times, I think, because I messed up uh, the first two times. And the last one was perfect. I really loved it. I had some good jokes in there. I had a lot of good, you know, humor. It was everything was fine about it. And then I, I listened to the audio and I was like, wait, where's my where's my voice? I couldn't hear myself. You know, I, I put my volumes up and, and then I went, oh, no. And I looked down at my, my headset and I went, wow, it was on mute the whole time. Moral of the story, guys, if you if you have a YouTube channel and you're making videos with something that you can mute mic wise. Yeah, check to make sure it's not on. Um, anyways, so with that story, that's I hopefully it's funny to you guys. I, I think it's hilarious, but I just I got so pissed off because I was I was like 13 minutes in, and I finished the, the video, and then I'm like, wow, that's I had to redo the whole thing. And so now that this is the redo of it, but don't worry, I have a general idea of what I said before, and maybe not the same jokes. Maybe it'll be better jokes. Maybe it'll be worse. I can't control it. I don't know. If you're new to my, um, if you're new to these videos, if you're new to my channel, I do, I do stuff free verse. So when I talk about anything in general, everything I talk about is not actually wrote down. I don't write down on a piece of paper and I don't lay out what I'm going to say, what I'm about to say and all that. No, it's all me just talking on the top of my head, like a discussion, you know, like I'm talking to you guys. Cause that's what I want to make these videos sound like. I'm talking to someone else, like actually talking to someone in front of me. And that's really hard, by the way, to do on YouTube. I know every YouTuber will tell you that that is one of the hardest things to do is to talk to someone like they're in front of you when you realize there's no one in front of you. Like right now, I'm looking at the screen. You can't see that I'm looking at the screen, but that's what I'm looking at. So, yeah. Anyways, so let's talk about harem today. I once talked about harem before in one of my videos, but I didn't talk about what is a harem anime? What actually makes a harem anime? Hmm. So let's, let's first discuss what actually the word harem actually entails the word harem means to have multiple girls that are romantically involved with you either by by marriage or you know all just together with you in general that's what the actual word means okay more or less you know i'm not going to go off the dictionary word of it but it's more or less that's what it means now in the anime world it's the same concept it has where multiple girls like the main character who's usually oblivious to it and that's where the humor lies in where you have a main character like for example sukune over here who has, has everyone, every single girl on the show liking him, but he's painfully oblivious to it for some reason. I don't know why, but he doesn't realize it. Now, harem anime have have been around in the anime world for a long time. In my years of watching anime, like 17, 16, 16 or 17 years of watching anime, I, well, I'm old when I say that. <laughs> That's, I'm not 16 years old, I'm 25 years old, but it, it's still weird to say that, that I've watched anime for so long. In all my years of watching anime, that, that's a better way of putting it. The harem genre started up in the days of I started watching her, uh, anime in general. But more so, like, kind of hit a peak where it keeps going up now. Ever since the 2000s. Like, you know, the year 2000 and up, you started seeing this huge increase of harem anime. Like, for example, Rosario Vampire. And other anime in the name off the top of my head. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. But you get what I'm talking about. Now, I think that... One of my biggest pet peeves, and one thing that me and my friend were discussing recently, is what actually means the what, what actually entails the word a harem anime. Like, where where can you actually put that in context into the actual genre categories? Like, I don't know if you guys go on Wikipedia or if you go on uh, various other anime websites that show the um, the genres. Like, it always shows like, oh, it's a, a school genre, it's a drama, romance, etc., etc. They always put harem in a lot of stuff. It's always harem, harem, harem. But a lot of times, you know, my friend who was just getting into anime asked me, why is it considered a harem when there was really no harem elements? And I liked it because I was like, you know what? Let's talk about that. I wanted to actually discuss that. Harem is not every single anime, okay? I, I, I don't care what you guys are going to say. I don't care if you, you have good arguments or whatever. Harem genre does not need to belong in every single category of anime because it's not in every single category. Now, what I did was I actually put out six pictures. I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six pictures. I had to count that for a second. Of different anime. And I'm going to tell you guys what makes it a harem and what doesn't make it a harem. And yet, these are all... I'm telling you guys right now. These are all harem animes, or at least uh, titled as harem animes. So, I'm just going to let you guys know. Even if you think, wait, that doesn't make sense. 
you can be agreeing with me or you can be disagreeing with me. So let's start off with the most obvious one right here, Rosario Vampire, which is clearly a harem anime. I mean, I even said that from the beginning. You have our main character being loved by multiple girls. They're all trying to vie for his affection. And, you know, the, the hilarious kind of moments happen when they do stupid stuff to try to get with them and utterly fail. That's how it is. Because he's oblivious. You know, I, I talked about that in another video if you guys want to see. I'm not going to put a link in it, but um, where I talked about why main characters are so oblivious all the time to girls liking them. It, it annoys the crap out of me, but it's something that I've gotten used to the years of watching anime. All right, let's talk now about Clan Ed. Yeah, did you know Clan Ed, the first season, is considered a harem anime to most people? I don't know why, because it does not make sense to be a harem. Let's, let's, let's actually dissect this, okay? So Clan Ed, the story is a romance story with the actual main character getting with one of the girls in the later in the later part of the story and, you know, them having a child. And I'm not going to spoil who it is because you'll figure it out probably very easy on your own. But the first season has the main character being liked by three girls, technically. Three. Now, here's the thing, though. Now, right away, you might say, well, isn't that a harem because multiple girls like them? No. You see, I also said, and remember my first statement that multiple girls have to be vying for his attention at the same time for me to consider it a harem anime. And for, I think anyone should be considering it a harem anime. And in Clan Ed, only one girl is really going for his attention. The other girls like him, don't get me wrong, they like him, but they never really go really that far out there. There is one other girl that tries to get with him, but eventually he kind of goes down and realizes, hey, I'm not going to be able to get with this guy because he likes someone else, clearly. That, to me is the perfect definition of what a harem anime is not. This is not a harem anime. It has no, no multiple girls trying to go for him. You know, even the only one girl that's actually trying to go for him is not doing it in a way that's, you know, I, I want to say hilarious moments and comedy and all that. It's, you know, it has those moments in the show, of course, but it's not the sole focus of it. It's not a harem. This is not a harem story. I don't care how many put, people put it on. Now, if you talk about the visual novel, which the visual novel you could choose between the, the cast of characters, you can actually be with multiple of the girls. Uh, not in the same storyline, but in, uh, in, you could choose which one you want to be with. That, I would give you carte blanche to say the harem because they're all going for his attention in that because it's a visual novel. That's what visual novels that are especially either Ergo or, um, not Ergo, but uh, I think it's Ergo. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it all of a sudden. It doesn't matter. But, <laughs> but um, Clan Ed is at least understandable from a visual novel to be considered a harem, but the actual anime is not a harem. I don't care how you, you put it. I've seen this series. It's considered, if you're new to my channel, it's considered one of my favorite animes of all time. It is not a harem anime. I've seen it a dozen times. And that's not being, oh, well, I'm, wow, loud trucks. Uh, <laughs> if you could hear that, by the way, that was my truck right outside the window. It, it, this is not a harem. That's the bottom line. I'm going to end it like that. This is not a harem. Let's go on to the next one. Date Alive. That is considered a harem. Why? Because multiple girls are going after the main character. They're all trying for his affection. Understandable, you know, the main character is oblivious to one or two of them. But he knows that, he actually knows that they like him. But he's also doing it because he has to. And if you want more of that, you could watch my review of the second season and first season I did on my channel way back when. Uh, second season I did recently, so you can check that out. Love, Election, and Chocolate. Which is the next anime I'm talking about. This is the one anime on this list that I will consider a hybrid of the word harem. So if you argue saying this is a harem, I kind of have to give you some leeway. I do. But let me say why I don't think it's harem. This is not a harem to me because, okay, first off, all these girls here that you see are not in love with the main character. Out of those, three of them do, or excuse me, four of them do like him, plus one that you don't see in this image. But of those that actually like him, only two of them ever try to go for his affection and only one of them ever really goes for his affection clearly the other one just does it because she's you know she's embarrassed sometimes that she likes hanging around with them but she never actually goes or more so all the way out with them and the other girl that i mentioned that's off screen right now because you can't see her actually on this screen does like them but realizes they're never gonna be an item so she plays with them more than anything else this is not a harem to me this spells out just a romance story that just has multiple girls. Even a love triangle would be understandable. But this is not a harem. I don't care what you guys want to say. This is not a harem. All right. High school DXD. This is a harem. I mean, the main character wants a harem. It's that uh, he wants a harem. He has uh, eight girls that be with him at one point. They're all always on him. They're always half naked half the time in the show. This 
is a harem anime. Simple as simple as that. Finally, Dusk Made of Amnesia. Which by the way, if you guys don't realize, I'll put I'll put links up not links, but I'll put um what the titles are in the description box. I'm not gonna put them on the video like in captions, but I'll put them in the description box below in order so you guys can figure out which ones if you've never seen one of these. Dusk Made of Amnesia, not a harem, but it's considered a harem. I don't know why. You have three girls that do like our main character, yes. You have three girls. But of those three girls, only one of them ever actually is with him all the time. The other two respect him and like him not for per se as romantic. Like, one of them does like him a little more romantic than the other one does. But she still does not go with him and she does still does not try to break up his relationship with the main girl of the show, which is the one you see right now on the screen. Not a harem. So, I, I hope you guys understand that, to me, not everything should be labeled as a harem. I don't know why that this... this the new trend is they're like, oh, if it has multiple girls in it, harem, doesn't matter. Even if the only one of them is going with them, just put it as a harem. You know, at least when you guys are watching a show, I think the best way to approach a show is to actually look and pay attention to the cues. Are all the girls going for the main character? Then that's clearly a harem. Are only one or two of them going for them? It's a love triangle at best. I mean, romance stories in real life and outside of life, or that, wait, what? Outside of life? Well, I guess that would be mediums. Yeah, like, like, from movies and all that. That made no sense, but it makes. I fixed it. I made it. I made it make sense. Um, the actual concepts of it, you can notice when it's a harem and when it's not a harem by visual cues. Like, again, all the girls going from harem. If not, love triangle at best. Anyways, guys, I don't want to keep you guys any longer. Um, I. Oh, by the way, I'm trying to think of a good phrase to end the videos. Like, if you're new to my channel, all my reviews I end with until I pass across again in the next review. Have a good one. That is my kind of outro per se of me saying stuff i would think that until until we discuss the future again have a good one how's that that sound good all right so until we discuss the future again have a good one everyone i hope you guys enjoy this please like comment subscribe also uh if you have me if you want me to talk about a specific topic feel free to put in the, cha uh, the channel Yo, i don't know how you put that in the channel but you can put it in the comments box there you go Put in the comment box uh, what you want me to talk about, and I will talk about it. I'll mention you as your channel. It's almost like my uh, anime recommendations. recommendations. Wow, I can't speak. I'm going to stop this video now because I'm just doing horrible things with my speech all of a sudden. Anyways, have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.